Hello everyone and welcome to the 10th anniversary video browser showdown, VPS 2021. My name is Klaus Schöffmann and on behalf of all organizers of this special event, I'm going to present you some very important information that will show you how we're going to proceed today. The VPS is a video search competition that is annually performed at the MMM conference and it demonstrates and evaluates the state-of-the-art performance of video content search tools. In this event, several teams uh, work in parallel and try to solve search tasks that are issued by the evaluation server, the DRES for distributed retrieval evaluation. And this server presents the task in a live manner and the teams try to solve them as quickly as possible and submit their results to the server, which evaluates if they're correct or not. This year is not only special because we have the 10th anniversary, but also because we have 17 teams with authors coming from 15 different countries. And now I'm going over these teams. Here you can see their logos. And in particular, we have the team from Hong Kong, the Virtual team from Greece, the No Shot team from Austria, the Exquisitor team from Denmark and Netherlands, the Videograph team from Switzerland, the IVIS team from South Korea, the collage queries from Czech Republic, the retriever team from Switzerland, the retriever VR team from Switzerland, the dive explorer team from Austria, the Som Hunter team from Czech Republic, the W2VV++ uh, team from Czech Republic, and the Visione team from Italy, the IVOS team from Austria, uh, then image, archive team from Germany, a VR team from Ireland, and finally, we also have a team from Jordan or the US, but this team unfortunately could not make it to this session. So all teams have received a shared data set, which is a public data set known as the V3C1 data set, and this contains 1,000 hours of video content, or in particular 7,475 video files with metadata from Vimeo. So there's some download information, but also categories, descriptions, the title, and it contains the master shot reference, which most of the teams are using. The content is quite diverse. So for example, only 25% are in English, but we have also several other languages. And the duration is also varying, uh, starting from three minutes to one hour for one video file. Now, in this competition, we are going to evaluate two different types of tasks. The first one is known item search, or also known as KISS. Here we want to find one specific target sequence. So it means in, in all the 1,000 hours of content, we are looking for exactly 20 seconds. And the target scene is known to the searcher but there is no knowledge where it is. And in order to simulate this, uh, we will present, or the server is presenting um, the scene, and then the teams need to find it. And we also simulate this by a re repetitive presentation of that scene. Now, for this type of the task, they have only a maximum of five minutes. And I'm going to show you one example. That will be presented by the evaluation. <laughs> So this is what the teams see in a repetitive manner and they need to search for this within a time limit of five minutes and remember they have to look in 1000 hours and you would be surprised how fast they can find it sometimes. Now the second type of task is textual non-item search uh, where we get only one this uh, textual description and they will have more time but um, in this session, in this public session, we will not use textual non item search. We have already evaluated this on Monday. So an, exa an example would be seven bridesmaids in Turkey's dresses walking on the street and three still images of the bride and a couple. And there is even some more refined information after a specific time. And finally, the searchers will find Okay, but today we will only do visual KISS tasks and ad hoc video search tasks. Uh, this is another type of task. 
which we evaluate in collaboration with the TrekWit team, in particular with uh, George Keno and George Abbott. And here the idea is to find many instances to a specific topic, and they also have only a time of maximum five minutes. An example would be an adult person running in a city street or outdoor shots with snow or ice conditions. Now this is the interface of the DRES server and I would like to thank Luca Rosetto, Ralph Kasser and Lori Sauter for implementing this uh, server, which actually makes it possible that we perform the VPS fully virtual. So you will see the task presentation, uh, some intermediate results, statistics, and then you can see all the teams here with their logos and their submissions. And uh, because for AVS submissions, we don't always know the ground rules, therefore we use judges, and therefore it may take some time until we know if the submission is correct or wrong. If, if a submission is correct, it is in green, wrong corrections are in red, and yellow uh, represents submissions that are not yet judged. Now, here is a session overview. All teams, of course, are connected to the evaluation server and they see the current task and the statistics. They're also connected via Zoom and share a camera. And we will create a stream on Twitch that shows all the teams in parallel. And you can follow this uh, via Twitch TV VPS workshop. And we will interleave um, or we will issue case visual tasks and ABS tasks in an interleaved manner. And we will have about six judges for judging the ABS submissions. And I would also like to thank them a lot because this is a very hard um, task, a very hard effort to judge all submissions because many teams will submit a lot. Okay, so overall we will evaluate about seven to eight tasks uh, with visual kiss. Uh, and about seven to eight tasks with AVS. And as you can see, we have already issued several tasks with visual kiss and textual kiss, but also AVS on Monday in a private session. They will all add up to some statistics. In particular, we count visual kiss uh, individually, textual kiss individually in AVS. In every category, we get 100 points and the final score is an average. And this will tell us who is the actual winner of this 10th anniversary VPS. Now you might wonder how we score single tasks. For KISS tasks, we basically want to reward uh, solving a task and also being fast. That's why uh, you of course get some points if you solve a task even in the last second, but you get more points if you submit it quite early. So maybe in the first minute instead of the last minute. And also we will have a fair scoring and a penalty for wrong submissions. That's why uh, we basically have um, some constant here, SC, which is the minimum amount of numbers you will get. Typically this is configured to 50 uh, and the maximum uh, numbers is 100 and then we have a linearly decreasing function based on time so that you will only get 50 points in the end and 100 points uh, if you submit in the first second and in addition to that here we subtract the wrong submission penalty which is uh, 10 points per wrong submission for the abs tasks we will use precision and recall. Uh, so according to correct and incorrect submissions by the team. So this is C and I. We will, um, however, pull all correct submissions of all teams for these tasks. And this is uh, shown here as P. Um, because of course, that would be the entire ground rules that we have. And so the, the target is, or the idea is, that a team finds a lot of different instances of the same topic. And that's why we also have a quantization function here, which quantizes uh, temporarily close shots or basically merges temporarily close shots. Um, and it means if you submit many shots from the same video that are in a close temporal range, 
uh, you will get less points versus when you submit very diverse shots in terms of the range. So maybe from all different videos, then you get more points. And by the way, um, we also have a division by two here for the incorrect shots uh, because we want to mitigate um, the problem of some ambiguous topic descriptions, but we hope that this year uh, they will be very precise and our judges will know what is correct and what is not. Now, what's also very nice this year, we will have a few awards, the best KISS visual, the best KISS textual, and the best AVS team will be awarded um, with 500 euros, and the best overall VPS system will get an award uh, with 1,000 euros, sponsored by Springer. Now, as also in the previous years, this is a fun session. Uh, it will re you will really enjoy it. So please follow our Twitch stream. Uh, try to see which teams are in the lead, what other teams are trying uh, to meet them. Uh, and yeah, try to see how they actually solve the task. Finally, I would like to thank the local organizers in Prague for the great support that actually makes this session happen. And now what will follow is a short presentation of each team's system um, with a one minute video from each team. Hello everyone, this is a brief introduction of the Visual SQ Online Search System. This tool provides text search, color search, and tempo query search. For the text search, we provide a SQL interface in 
guiding user to input query. They can input a query in the right area. For example, for the time t, we input query like this. And for time plus 1, we input white shirt man sitting on chair the beach. So we use the temple query to find a visual no item search. For this example, we also use the color to filter out the result. In this year challenge, our team introduced a visual reality interface for browsing visual spaces named ELLAS, which stands for Exploration of Latent Speed. The system mainly concentrates on the user experiment, where users can directly interact with the system, exploring the space in order to find a video in a given task. This is Exquisitor, a user relevance feedback system for exploring large media collections. The goal of the relevance process is to build classifiers by giving positive and negative examples. Here we want to find a video where people are seen working out indoors and outdoors with skyscrapers shown in the background later. Since the initial screen has no good positive examples, we can use the search feature to find positive examples, for instance, of people working out with dumbbells. The classifier is now focusing on the people working out. However, it does not capture the part with skyscrapers in the background. Using the latest feature of Exquisitor, we can build a second classifier that focuses on skyscrapers and intersect the two classifiers. Additionally, we can add a temporal constraint that ensures the workout part happens before the skyscrapers are seen. As we can see, the video in the top right is the one we were looking for. Hello, I'm Klaus Jung from HTW Berlin introducing our search system. I start entering a keyword here, looking at the results of all images tagged by that keyword. And if I select an image here, I can have a closer look on our map where similar images are arranged nearby. If I double click any image, it will be taken here to the visual search. 
So we have a combination of a visual search and keyword search right now. Uh, going to the uh, scene sequence list, we have individual videos showing two frames before and two frames afterwards, or the whole list of video frames. And we can uh, here check the video sent it to the competition. For AVS search, uh, the system is quite different. Please come to the competition and you will see how AVS search uh, work as well. Bye bye. Hi, I'm Anja and this is EVOS. EVOS is an object-based video search system. So if you want to know how to search for, let's say, a blue umbrella, it's very easy. You just click on the item for umbrella, add additional filters. We're going to pick a color filter and we go for blue. Okay. And then we apply the filter and boom, you wait a couple seconds. And here we go. Blue umbrella. Okay. But now let's do something fun. Now we look for all videos containing a table, a couple of chairs, and then we want the oven and the microwave and the clock, then the person. And we want it to be exactly one person. And on the left side of the frame, so we click on the three panels here. Okay, and see what happens. And here we go. Wow, what a nice shot. But of course, EVOS has many additional filters. Here you see a query that searches for all green frames, where at some point in the video before a sheep appears. Thanks for watching. Bye. The Dive Explorer system offers a smart command line interface for auto-completed multi-concept search. Its main feature is browsing results by video summary rather than shots, which can be pursued in two different manners. The filtered search results are browsed on the horizontal axis, There's quick ways to access shots and the actual videos. Now the vertical axis is used for browsing similar videos to the respective current center summary. Finally, the system also includes a shot search based on scene and concepts as well as metadata.